Hey guys, let's do a cold start. It's a nice day out, but it's only 18 degrees. And I was thinking, what the heck could we cold start? What hasn't run for a really long time? I'm thinking about the Onan 424NB tractor. Let's see if we can fire it up. All right, let's see if we can find this thing. Oh, here it is. Look at this beauty. I had put a tarp on it the other day because I wanted to protect its uh, beauty. You know what? We're not even going to peel that whole tarp off. Let's just uh, get to the key switch. <laughs> Let's see. Can we do it? Oh. All right. Will the choke work? Oh, the choke's frozen. It ain't going to work. The cable's frozen solid. It's frozen solid. Yeah, there's no way it would start with no choke. Nope. That's a fail. Let's try something else. I don't know. What else could we cold start when it's 18 degrees out? Uh, that looks like too much work. How about the Briggs? I love the old Briggs. We got to get that new muffler on it. Maybe we'll put the muffler on, then we'll cold start it. I got a new muffler for it. So look at this freaking thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, that's going to require a cutoff disc to bust that thing off. I don't feel like doing that right now. It's way too cold. So let's uh, wait until it warms up a little bit. Maybe tomorrow or Monday. All right. Let's see if we can change this muffkin on the 8163B 16 horse Briggs. It's wicked cold out. I don't like to open the garage doors when it's this cold. So I was gonna use a cutoff wheel, but I think I'm just gonna use a hacksaw. I just have to cut one little freaking five sixteenths or quarter inch bolt. Shouldn't be a big deal. Let's try it out. Okay. All right, let's see here. Uh, can I do this with a hacksaw? Got this one muffler clamp on here. Let me just cut this thing with one little cut. Oh, yeah. It's working. get this off of there not the way I cut it of course oh yeah I think we can uh... oh there's a freaking bracket on there too shit look there's this bracket here which is in the other side of the muffler clamp bolt so I'm going to have to cut it again and take off, pop that bolt through the back. But I can't do that with this curved part on there. Oh, well, it's too cold. We're going to retreat. Too cold to work on tractors today. What? Yeah. Well, it just started snowing got a dusting but uh maybe with any luck we can plow tomorrow again well we got the big snow here about a quarter inch i'm not going to do anything with it because it's supposed to turn to rain this afternoon so there's no point in playing with this stuff here but it does look pretty and it's very foggy out today sorry guys maybe next time we can play 
but not today. Boo. Well, down at uh, work, we've got the same dusting, but I can't have customers walking through the snow, so I'm gonna have to plow it, even though it's only a quarter inch. So let's see if we can fire up the 817. Okay, we'll give it some choke. Yes. Let's see what we got here. successful job by the 817 and uh, my favorite the road runner salt from Lowe's this stuff is awesome you get these little storms they're a nuisance I also like to use the backpack blower on the sidewalk and there's twofold to that if you're doing a commercial application like I am you get to use less salt because you've cleaned away more of the snow. So it saves you money on salt. I've got it down to, I can use about one bag per storm here. Those bags used to be 10 bucks. I think now they're 12 or 13 bucks a bag. So I did about 10 minutes of plowing and backpack blowing and tossed down $12 of salt and we're good until the next storm. Hopefully there's gonna be a next storm the forecast for the next few days is supposed to go up to almost 50 degrees and be raining. So it's not looking too good for getting snow cannons going yet, since we haven't used a snow cannon all year. Um, we've had in the last week, three of these storms that give an inch or less, which are just kind of a nuisance. I mean, they're fun to play in, but um, I'm looking for the big snow guys, the big snow later all right guys it's a week later now it's just the next saturday and all the snow is melted and it's like 43 degrees out today instead of being 20 or whatever it was last week so we're going to try to fix that muffler we might get some snow tomorrow the forecasts are conflicting so i was really hoping i could fix it today before the next storm comes let's check it out again where we left off last week in the cold was that I cut the clamp with a hacksaw and I thought I could just split the clamp in half and drop it off. But it turns out there's a bracket that goes down to the trailer hitch that holds the thing up. And they've got that bracket in the same nut as the muffler clamp. So I got to figure out how to address that one. All right, let's check out this muffkin. Yeah, sweet. Anyways, back to the clamp. Oh man, it's nice that it's so much warmer out today. Yeah, this shouldn't be that big a deal. So we got the back of the muffler clamp here. And yeah, I think if I just cut the other side of this with the hacksaw over here, that I can just pop that bolt right through the back and uh, we should be done with it. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta use an old fashioned hacksaw. Let's check it out. should be good here's what they had on the back here's the bolt that went through the clamp and now we got to get this muffkin off <laughs> maybe we'll get a hammer try to hammer it interesting the sucker's on there all right i'm not really sure that this is going to work stuck on this pipe here. I don't want to break the block or something. 
you know, I may have to end up taking a cutoff wheel and slicing this pipe here and splitting this thing. It's really rusted on there. Good. Maybe I'll try a chisel. Well, let's try, uh, let's try chiseling this thing and see what happens. Yeah, that's, that will work, I think. So close. How about another half inch to go or so? Close. Let's see. There we go. Sweet. Thing's pretty tough. Give it that much. It's all rotted out everywhere. All right, we got her done. That's some big globs of crap on here. Just hit that with the chisel, knock it off. Let's take a file or some sandpaper and smooth this up a little bit. Maybe just the chisel. That's cool. I'm gonna take this file and just, I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit. Just so the new one will slip on. Let's check out this new muffkin. You know, it's funny, the old one kind of has a little bend here. The new one does too. Uh, this new one is a fine one made in Taiwan. I think it's a Stenz. It's either Stenz or Rotary, I forgot. Part 182286. Anyways, it cost about 40 bucks or four, no, 45 bucks on eBay. And, uh, yeah, we'll just slip her on and uh, see what happens here. Now, I got a new clamp at Napa. There you go here. It's a one and three eighths clamp. Here's your numbers. It costs a dollar fifty eight. Let's throw it on. All right, let's see if this thing actually slips on. Oh, it does. Good. I'm glad that I smoothed off that junk a little bit. Man, it's so close to the, so close to the tire. I don't, I bet I, yeah, I moved the elbow. That's what happened. When I was hammering on it, I pounded that piece down. That thing was on a lot farther than the old one for that clamp to get over there. Well, let's check out this new clamp. See if it's even compatible with that clip anymore. Let's see. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's see. If this thing is over here. That clip is off about an inch from where I need to be. If I need this muffler to go up higher. Um, let me see. Or for the, oh, the clamp's not going to move. Let me take this off. Let's see. Oh, we should be able to slip it in more. There's a big glob of crap there. Let me try to file that down.
should be able to put it in like this deep theoretically past here it goes in say a finger length so it should be up to like here technically i don't know let me just keep pushing i don't want to break it off or something it's tight let me see is that a little better Close, so close. I think I can make that work. Very close. Well, guys. I think I got it in a good spot here. I'll try to tighten up these nuts. See if we can snug her up. And I'll fire it up and uh, see what it sounds like. All right, I think we're good. Back tire could use a little air. Let me we'll pump that up real quick. All right, let's uh, fire this thing up. Cold start it. Looks like it's hard. You know what? Let me check the oil. Oil's perfect. Chokes on. put the hood down it's just hitting the shifter works good guys that was a score i'm happy now let's go to another project all right it's a week later and it's 20 degrees warmer and it's above freezing let's see if we can start this onan nb today all right let's peel off this tarp a little bit and let's see if the choke works oh dude the choke works today now let's see ready one two three <laughs> That's how 
she runs. She runs. Cool. Now, that 5865 could use a cold start, but it has no gas tank. So that'll have to wait until the spring. Well, it's snowing. Is it gonna stick? Is it gonna turn to rain? What's gonna happen? There's some snow on the table on the deck. Interesting. Well, it's snowing out. It's got it in my truck and uh, the window's covered. A wet snow. Hopefully it's gonna be a plowable snow. We'll have to wait and see here, guys. We got some conflicting weather reports. We got everything from rain to um, two to four inches to one to two inches to 0.8 inches of rain and no snow. But uh, my thermometer, it's 35.1, so it's still warm. But man, it's snowing like crazy right now. Check it out. Yeah. Look at that, man. That little wheel horse Commando 8. That thing's looking sweet out there. Sat here about a minute waiting for the truck to wait up. It's already starting to stick everywhere. Look at the hood. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man, those are some big flakes, guys. Big flakes. Sweet. Well, I went out to the grocery store. It's like not even uh, an hour after I made that first video and look what the weather's turned to. Holy cow, I had to stop and put the truck in four wheel drive. The state roads are kind of like a clear slush because they salted the crap out of them. But the town roads here are uh, a little slick, I will say. I got the truck in second gear, trying not to slide off the road going around this turn. See lots of people's uh, tire tracks here where they're getting stuck or whatever. I got really good tires on the truck, but uh, this guy up here in front of me has got his four ways on. So that shall be interesting to see what his deal is. Cool. Hey, this is a big sharp turn here. I might have to go down the first gear. These people are hurting going down the hill. Yep. Oh, I was in third gear, not second gear. That's better. Shift her down a second. The old manual trans and this thing is mint. Oh, that dude's going totally sideways. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like uh, pretty crazy that this has happened. It wasn't supposed to happen this early. I just went by the elevation line of where it's usually colder. Like the guy's mailbox we just passed on that sharp corner. And it was sticking below there and above there. Score, 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 score. Taking a dirt road detour here in the snowy, muddy mess. Awesome. This is where we take the wheel horse tractor ride over here, usually. Sweet. Well, guys, I hope you liked the little tractor uh, vlog or vlog from this week. But uh, unfortunately, on last Sunday, it never uh, was able to get plowed. We did get about an inch of snow in an hour or so. Then it turned to rain and it all washed away. So there was nothing left to plow and it poured all day, like literally poured. Now, uh, there's no snow in the forecast here in the whole 10 day forecast. So it's a total bummer. Anyways, hopefully fingers crossed, we'll get some snow that we can use the snow cannons on. If you like the video guys, comment and also subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. See you in the next one.